Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my weekly photo chats. So today I'm going to talk about finding some good deals on gear. So this case I ended up picking up years ago. I just found it in my storage area in my basement. And I'm like, hey, I don't remember using that one. Look, they used to have a little tripod holder on here. You could put a tripod in these little straps. But what I put in here is a Nikon F2. But what I want to talk about is two lenses I just recently picked up for it. This is a 20 3.5 Nikkor AIS lens in great shape with a lens hood. I'm a huge wide angle guy. This is a 24 F2. I've never had a 24 F2. I've only had 24 2.8s. And I like to shoot in low light. I like to take it to parties. And sometimes I'll take the 35 F2 instead of the 24 because the 35 F2 is a stop faster than the 24. But I found this 24, and so I was able to add it to this kit. So now an F2 with a third with a 20 3.5. 24 F2, and then what else is in here? In that one little case is a 10525 legendary lens and a 51.2 for super great low light. Really isolate your background if you need to photograph a portrait in a busy place. So that's what I have. But I want to talk about those two lenses, the 20 and the 24. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You just have to know where to look and find good deals. So there's a photo site called Photrio. And it used to be part of the Analog Photographer User Group, APUG. And there is a classified section. And a gentleman had those two lenses on there for $300. And I thought, well, a 20, those are kind of pricey. And a 24 F2. Those aren't the cheapest lenses. So I queried him and said, would you take 250 He said, sure. So for $125 each, that's a steal for two great, fast Nikon lenses that I will use regularly because I'm a big, wide-angle guy. But I couldn't afford to pay auction prices. I couldn't afford to go to KEH or any of the places that have bought estate sales and then are marking up the work or marking up the product and then reselling it. Those come with warranties. There's benefits to buying that way. And I've often talked about, I don't always buy when I want something. I buy when the opportunity arises. And those two lenses came up in a classified ad. And I think that's a great place to buy. You're not paying exorbitant prices. You have an ability to negotiate. You can contact the seller and there are probably people that are involved in that community. So they may have some reputation for having sold before and people know who they are because it is a community. And they post pictures of their items and you directly deal with them. So that was a big win for me. And I thought, I wonder how many people know about Fotrio because to me, that's a uh, site that I hadn't always gone to just in the last few years. And then recently I actually joined. You can join and that, I think you do have to join to make contact with other people, but it's very inexpensive and it's well worth it. And I picked up a contact printer from a seller for $15. And that's what I'm using now, the contact print eight by 10 and four by five. You can find some deals, but you have to follow it. You have to keep up with it. The good deals, they come up and right away, somebody sends a personal message. They're first in line for it. And you have to be quick. You have to kind of keep up on it and watch it. But you can find some real deals there. And I think that to me, to buy the things that you find when they show up, because you, you're quick and you're watching out, definitely a place you can find some good deals. 
And I just love the F2 for a camera that is, I think, probably the best mechanic. I think it feels better to me than the Nikon F. And I like this is an F2A. And to have it in this kit with four lenses, that's quite a lot of camera for a kit that's not very large. And it's way smaller than my digital setup with a 7200 2.8 and a 17 to 35 and all of those are pretty big lenses. These lenses, these small prime lenses, they don't take up a lot of room. I'm able to carry a four cam a four lens setup with very little size comparatively to digital. So I really like that. I've already had the 105 and the 50. But it's a great setup, but Fotrio is maybe your friend. So take a look at them and let me know what you find. Let me know what bargains you get and share them in the comments. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support even with a cup of coffee a month or a beer, hit the Patreon and thanks so much for my, to my supporters and I'll be back next week. We'll talk photography. As always, Here's the good light.